What is up, guys? Uh, sorry for the low resolution, but I'm coming to you from my hotel room in Spokane, Washington. Uh, so I'm traveling this week, so if you've you notice the conspicuous lack of uh, gaming videos, in particular the ones that I've been making uh, as of late on Age of Dread on uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, the reason for that is that I'm traveling. Uh, I'm out of town this week, uh, speaking in some schools, but I wanted to tell you about something that I stumbled across and show you some of what I found. And it's this uh, interesting game that's in development that's right down the same alley as uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and it's called Task Force Admiral. So I'm going to show you some of the footage that they put on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below to their website so you can learn more. And then as I'm showing you the footage, I'll read a little bit about what they've said about what volume one of this game is going to have. So let's check it out. So I was actually just browsing around the internet and I stumbled upon this video for this game that says it's in development. It's called Task Force Admiral. And I'll read to you a little bit about what it says on their site about what the game will have. And uh, basically what they're going to do is, and I, some of this is probably going to show on the screen. I don't, it's like seven minutes long, the original video. So um, yeah, feel free, free to mute me if you just want to watch it yourself instead of listening to what I have to say. But I wanted to read to you a little bit of what it says it's going to have as we kind of watch some of this. Uh, this part, first of all, is really, really cool. The way that you can zoom in from the map that shows the whole Pacific and it's just seamless and goes right down into, say, Guadalcanal. I think that looks absolutely amazing. So if this ends up being like this when the final game is produced, I'm really excited about that. Uh, it looks fantastic. They said that the, the uh, very first one that's going to come out is going to be called Task Force Admiral Volume 1 and it's uh, American Battles. So I know that will be somewhat disappointing to those of you who uh, don't like the fact that so many of these World War II games are kind of American-centric in their focus, but I'm, hopefully there will be other volumes that have more than just the American Battles. The developers are uh, called Dry, Docks, Dr Dry Dock Dreams Games, and uh, they're kind of an indie development uh, company of their own but I tell you what so far what they're showing here looks incredible uh, they don't have a specific re release date it just says when it's done and by that we mean well done uh, is what they say uh, it says that it will have a single player PVE and also um, oh no a single player on the initial uh, release it says PVE and PVP multiplayer will be added in future volumes which would be amazing if that's the case um, the game modes are going to be uh, 30 to 40 single scenarios along with a quick scenario generator and a full scenario builder. So you'll be able to make your own uh, in addition to playing the ones that are already there. So that'll be nice. Um, it says command post based first person perspective, uh, scripted and dynamic battle events, pausable real time save games, post battle replay editor. Um, Target audience is war history amateurs, air and naval war gamers, etc. Uh, and they say that their comparable titles would be Carrier Strike, Carriers at War, um, Naval Campaigns Midway, things like that. But just look at the detail on some of this. You can actually edit your planes, which is really, I mean, the depth that they appear to have on this uh, seems really, really cool. Uh, you actually get to see the inside. Uh, so you're actually, you're like a command hub. So. I'm guessing you're not specifically controlling an individual ship or flying an individual plane, but rather kind of controlling things from your command, which is kind of how I read uh, what they said they were doing. Uh, what else? They also compare it to Radio Commander, um, you know, talking about command leadership simulations, so that's kind of the direction they're going with this. But. Uh, I mean, oh, Task Force Admiral Volume 1. Now here it says American Carrier Battles will be the first one. Um, but I'll put a link in the description below that will take you to the page that I'm reading all of this from. Uh, and, of course, this, this video that I'm showing to you is something that they themselves had put out. But it only had about 1,700 views. So I'm hoping that maybe by throwing this up on my channel it's going to get them a bit more... Um, exposure out there uh, so I'll also put a link to their specific version of this video so you can see the video without all of my talking 
Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and drop out here. Uh, but this is Task Force Admiral. I'm looking forward to this. I think it, it, if it lives up to the promise, it could be fantastic.